Greetings, Stamp Sleuths. Today we're going to investigate tea and coffee collectibles. And I have just a small collection. This is my collection, my personal collection, and it's not huge. We're going to begin with Nabob, which is coffee. And then we're going to go to these little figurines, which are, came with red rose tea. So let's begin with Nabob. Now, Nabob is a coffee company that originated in Vancouver, British Columbia in 1896. Its coffee was processed and packaged in a food manufacturing plant called Kelly Douglas Limited. It was purchased by a German firm, Jacobs, in 1976, and they extended the brand into Central and Eastern Canada. So uh, 1896 to 1976 was uh, basically Western Canada, and then in 1976, it was expanded into Eastern Canada. In 1994, Nabob, Nabob was purchased by Kraft Foods, and it uh, not uh, only does coffee, it does spices, uh, it does seasonings, teas, cookbooks, uh, a variety of food goods, but the collectibles I've got here are primarily from coffee. So let's take a look at them. Now, these here are coupons, and these coupons were used to earn these little collectibles that you see here, and each coupon uh, has its own number, and it says Nabob's Food, and it says the coupon good in Canada only, one full coupon value, save this coupon, it's valuable. So there's quite a lot of these here uh, that are the same, and I, I would say these are from perhaps the 50s or 60s. Then you can get into some newer ones, if I can get this out, and things change. This is Nabob, these here on this one side. I believe these are all the same. Yes, the backs are plain. As you can see, the backs just say Nabob on these. And the backs on these have different things. So we're going to discuss the difference between these. And these will mark the difference between uh, it going from just Vancouver to a little more further afield. This one here is early. It's similar in all respects, more or less, to this one here. Rather, I should turn that the right way. These ones here. Except this is Series Y-64. This is Series D-16. I believe the Series Y is 1964. Correct me if I'm wrong if you're a specialist. And this shows here delicious Nabob jams and marmalade. So it tells you that Nabob at this point uh, diversified from coffee into jams. Then this is a Series T-62, so I'm guessing 1962. And it's talking about lemon cheese Nabob. And I actually remember enjoying that as a kid. This one here has uh, pure Nabob instant coffee and this is dated T62. This is dated uh, Y61 and it's the family treat squirrel peanut butter. So they also were involved in squirrel peanut butter. This one is uh, another uh, aspect squirrel peanut brittle and this is 1963. And then this is a 1974 for squirrel peanut butter. So at one point, they were just about the coffee, as these ones are, which is, are dated 1960. See what the dates on these are. These are all 1960. So all the 1960s and previous, I imagine, would be just the coffee. And then when 61 came in, they started to diversify. Now these coupons, as you can see, it says they're valuable on it in English on the English side. And uh, it says Nabob right for premium catalog to premium department. They had a premium department and that's what these are, premium coupons. And these are the premiums here, some of them, it's not extensive, that you could get by sending some of these in. Um, these scoops here are for the coffee and they actually say on them, uh, I can't even read that my site, made in Japan on the back of that one. That one I can't read it. You can see these are slightly different in color, but they're really cute little designs. This one has no printing on the back of it, but this is a bigger scoop. And I don't know if this is more for coffee beans or uh, instant coffee or what. And then this scoop and this scoop essentially are the same. You can see the same dimensions. This one, neither of them have any printing on it. This says one cup, neighbor one cup measure. So this measured one cup of coffee. And again, they're showing the little Nabob uh, icon. This jar here, I've had for a long time, and I don't know if you can see it. It says Nabob, N-A-B-O-B, Nabob brand. There would have been a label here, 
and it's Dominion Glass Canada and it has a Dominion Glass uh, screw cap. These were often reused uh, for canning. This is how I got this. It came in a lot of jars that I had. And you can get these jars for between $10, $15 a piece on, online. Uh, so that's this. Now these little scoops here, the brass scoops are um, usually about $30 with shipping and handling. And this one in particular was 30 So these I would imagine would be a little less because they're not as much. And this plastic scoop um, I bought not long ago and it cost me $20 with shipping. The coupons, 10 coupons, cost me $10 with shipping. Uh, and I bought these a long time ago. So that gives you an idea of what the investment in this can be. Now let's take a look at Red Rose Tea. Now these might be familiar to a lot of people. I'm going to take them out very carefully. Red Rose Tea sells other figure, their own figures online to this day for $5 each. You could actually go to Red Rose Tea and uh, do a search there for the weighed figurines. This is what they are. They came from England. And you can buy these right from Red Rose Tea in a variety of different designs for $5 a piece. I did not pay that for these. I got these at a yard sale some time back and I paid a dollar a piece for them. And I quite like them. Now there was more at that yard sale. It was an estate sale, but they were damaged, so I didn't bother to get them. Now these are um, monochromatic. They don't have two tones. I do believe some of them have additional colors. You can get the odd ones. And they started these figurines in 1967 as free premiums. And they actually, you didn't have to send away with coupons. They came in a box of tea. There are estimates out there on the internet that more than 300 million have been given away in tea packets. Uh, the figurines are known as Wade Whimsies uh, and first appeared in the 1950s. George Wade of Wade and Sons, Burslem, England, uh, initiated this um, uh, factory, and it was he that uh, began to cr create these figurines, and they eventually were part of Red Rose Tea. Uh, the figurines were available in the U.S. in 1983. Prior to that, of course, it was England. Um, the latest popul uh, population production uh, of the World um, Monument Series uh, in 2020, a one-color co iconic uh, symbols like, for example, the Eiffel Tower, uh, the Statue of Liberty and whatnot are still being produced and you can still buy it as a set. So that gives you an idea of what the availability is. Now let's take a look at these. This looks to be the little squirrel, a little red squirrel, and I don't know if you can see, it actually says made in England on them. And they, oftentimes I've noticed one of their hallmarks is this sort of ribbed, I don't know if you can hear it. It's almost like um, corrugated on the bottom. There's a bit of a chip on that one. This looks to be a, I'm not sure, a bear. And again, it has made in England, and it's in nice condition. And I don't know if you can see the corrugation on the bottom. So that's one way to tell that you've got a genuine piece. Uh, this again says made in England on the side. This appears to be uh, some sort of marsupial or monkey. And again, it's done in this monochromatic. They don't have a lot of colors. It's almost like a drip glaze. This one's rather nice. It appears to be a cheetah. And again, it's signed. And it's quite a sweet little figurine. This is an ape, a great ape. And again, corrugated base and very small print, hard to say it's made in England. Now these are just a small amount. There are probably hundreds of these figurines that you get. I have seen uh, nursery rhymes. Uh, these are zoo animals. There is the um, World Monument Series of 2020. Uh, there are ones that are for cities. There's a vast variety. So do you collect these? Do you have these in your collection? And if so, what do you collect and where do you put them? How do you house them? I have these in the little um, wall box that has small compartments and a glass front. It's like a little curio box. Again, this is the same. It This one is signed, made in England, and has the stripies on the bottom. And this appears to be a tiger. This is one of my favorites. I don't know that this is a common... It's a rhinoceros, and I don't know that it's that common. Uh, again, some pieces are more rare than others, and I think this might be harder to get one. Let me know if you agree or if you have this and, and it's not worth anything at all. Again, you can buy them for $5 uh, right from 
red rose tea. And again, it's sign made in England. I do like the, the, the monochromatic colors because they're a little bit more naturalistic, I think. Uh, this is giraffe. And again, Wade England. What I like about this one is, and about a lot of them, but this one in particular, is that you can look at it from either side and it, it stands fine. These ones, the back isn't as interesting, so you, do, you can place this going either direction if you want. Uh, here is a camel. And again, it's got the corrugated base and signed Made in England. Very nice little figurine. This appears to be a pony. And it's got Made in England there. And something there, maybe the same thing. And again, very small base for this. But again, these are one of the figurines that you can actually look from either side. As opposed to this where you've got a back and then suddenly a front. This appears to be a raccoon. And I'm saying that because some of the animals don't necessarily look all that realistic in some ways, and so they're rather hard to determine 100% what they are. For example, this one. If you know what this is supposed to be, I think it's some sort of a um, bush baby or a monkey figurine, but I'm not sure. Marsupial, perhaps. But this has got a ring tail, so I think this, and, and the masked face, so I think this is a raccoon. And again, they're, they're quite sweet little figurines. We have a zebra here with very, very subtle stripes. And again, it's got a sign and it has a little bit of a chip on the bottom. They're quite fragile. And here's another zebra, and it's a little different of color. Now, some people will co collect variations of color in these things. And so that's why I took that one to show that feature in them. So this is two different collectibles uh, to do with... Uh, beverages, tea and coffee, and it is by no mean, means extensive. It's just a small collection of Wade figurines and a little bit of nabob. Uh, there are people who have huge collections uh, by brand, and I will be looking into branded um, collectibles in future videos. This is just uh, the beginning. This is my personal collection, and I wanted to let people see it so that they understood that, yes, I do collect stamps, but I also collect other things. And I imagine most of you stamp collectors are not just one collection or another. You have various collections in your home. Let me know if you're one. I, I like to call myself a multi-collector. And this is an example of that. Again, um, they're not overly valuable. As I said, here is probably between the jar and all this, maybe $60 in value if I were to try and sell it at a antique fairs. And here uh, at a yard sale, I got these for $10. So, and sometimes I find them for less. So it's not like we're sitting on big money here. It's more the pleasure of collecting than it is the monetary um, value. And again, that's why I collect, because I just enjoy the pleasure of collecting. I don't know the recent, most recent values on the Nabob jar, but I know that when I purchased this and I looked it up, uh, it was between $10 and $15. And it's very got a very art deco. I'll move these back for a second here so you can see. Just very gently move them back. You can see it has a very Art Deco look to it. So I don't know if it's a look back or if this actually came out in the late 30s. Let me know if you know when these were made. There's no real um, way of telling on the bottom. It does have a, D a Dominion glass, but there's no date code that I, I can see unless that's it there on the bottom. I don't know. Anyways, that's it for today. Hope all is going well with you. You're enjoying your day and your collections. Until next time. Stamp Sleuth, signing off.